I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> I really don't think I'm ready for this at all. But anyway, today is another request video. Today's request comes in from Reaction Review's very own Helsing920. If you've already read the title, you know what this is about. Today's video is going to be Birdemic Shock and Terror. Oh, God. I have been warned about this movie. Everyone makes this huge song and dance of it as the worst movie of all time, but I still feel that kind of holds true to um, Plan 9 from Outer Space, in all honesty. But also, pointless bit of information. Apparently, this was the most requested reaction review for Helsing, so let's see how I fare with this. That in mind, everybody, grab some of the drink. It's time to kick back, don't relax, based off what I've been hearing, and let's watch Birdemic Shock and Terror. Well, so far it's not bad. I mean, it's just like a basic drive video. I mean, the guy can't hold the camera properly, but it's not bad so far. This morning, flocks of seagulls and crows were found dead in downtown San Jose and along Highway 101. And not a the single fuck was given. An... Okay, we've just about hit the 10 minute mark, so I have to ask this question. When does something happen? I know Helsing's already commented about that nothing really happens and whatnot, but I'm looking at this and, uh... Shouldn't, like, the proper tile be boring guys, boring life? I want to just point wow, this out like a little technical doodad here. I think you look great like, when they're talking on the phone, I get how they're doing a cutaway Thanks. to how the other person's talking. You don't want to leave, like, in this gap. So, like, for example, one guy says, how you doing? Oh, that was fast. I know, oh yeah, I'm fine! That's so, good. Sorry, you don't want to leave that long gap that. in there. You I mean, if you could just edit those gaps out, It'd be a more convincing conversation. Okay, we've just passed the 20 minute mark and nothing has really happened. But I'm going to say this so far. One positive for the movie so far. Yeah, I know, positive about Birdemic is a bit ridiculous. But you know what? This romance between Natalie and... I've already forgotten his name. It's still a better love story than Edward and Bella. <laughs> I'm just saying is all. For a billion dollars! Oh, well done. Well done. So, uh, hey, a question. Uh, when did these birds show up? Sorry, what? What? Sorry, I, I can't hear you. Wind, I can't hear you. What? What? What the fuck am I watching? Took him 47 minutes to show up. So the birds just like crash into things and explode. Not the Japanese birds. <laughs> it was like one of those like games for the PlayStation 2 or the iToy, like smack the screen and the birds fly off. Seriously. Someone want, I want you to turn this into one of those, like, gun games or an eye toy game where you just smack the screen and the birds fly off. Hey, hey, Betty at Nintendo, if you're listening, here's a great idea for the Wii U. Make a Birdemic game where you have to shake the Wiimote to knock the fucking birds off the screen. It'd be fantastic! Oh, I'm kidding. It'd be a terrible idea. Because of his fossil fuel-related activities, he's causing global warming and it's killing life and Earth itself. 
Right. So, let me make sure I've got this straight. We start our movie off with like a little sappy romance, which I actually thought was okay. Then we suddenly get these kamikaze birds that blow up and things and just kill people by mindlessly grazing their faces. And now this old fool is saying, Oh, humans are the monsters because of global warming! Ah! Really? I mean, really? That's the way we uh, wash over our problems. People are dead, so... Candy! Yay! Hooray! Yay! Kids are so easy manipulated. Damn global warming. It's the cause of dry climate and bark beetles and death of the trees and forests. Okay, so we're taking another moment to have another environmental message and shit. Greedy lumber hey, um, hippie guy, um, birds are killing people and you're more concerned with, oh, trees are dying out. Fuck you, asshole. I'm Tom Hill. In the apocalypse, there is no happy meals. Only pain! Oh, speaking of which... Ah, oh, it's over. Alrighty then. Let's just... put a stop to that. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna break this down into two parts, because I feel like I just watched two different movies here. We're going to start with what I'm going to refer to as uh, Rod and Natalie's sappy romance. That's going to be like the first 40 minutes, and then Birdemic's going to be part two of this. Yeah, everything past that mark. Alrighty. The opening part was slow. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Mordred. It had this habit of, especially in a phone conversation, where person A be saying something like, do you want to go to the beach this weekend? Then it cuts to person B, and they're like, yeah, sure, I'd love to. There's these weird gaps for no apparent reason. Sound quality is terrible. It has, like, a lot of bad things, like Film 101, You Should Know This Sort of Shit, where it's like, you can hear the wind when on the beach, poor sound, bad light quality. Only when they're indoors. I mean, especially when they're outside, it looks fine. You know, natural lighting outdoors and shit. Apart from Rod and Natalie, the rest of the cast were fucking boring. They had no life, no personality, and they just got a lot of stupid shit in there. Rod and Natalie themselves, kind of believable. I mean, they started off pretty wooden. Almost like Resident Evil from the PlayStation 1 quality in movement and acting. But near the end, they got a bit better. Uh, so I'd say I get the first half of this movie, I don't know, uh, below average, uh, half, um, it's okay, three stars out of five or whatever, I don't know. The rest of this movie was fucking boring and terrible. I mean, the bird effect, where it's just like the same flapping effect with the same irritating sound effect on a continuous loop, that was fucking annoying. I refuse to believe that you can die from just getting a simple, like, gash to the face. I call bullshit on that. When birds themselves are not the most terrifying thing you can think of, I mean, I would rather see a movie about Kratos honey badgers destroying the world. It will happen one day, I swear to God. And I thought it was really fucking patronizing. Bits and pieces of the movie. It's like they run into somebody and they say, Help, we're being attacked by birds and they're killing everyone. Did you know the environment is in danger? Like, really, you're sticking in an environmental message in a serious situation? I thought it was bullshit. I honestly feel like when they were making this movie, they started off making, like, a simple, like, college film, like, love story kind of thing. And that was believable. You know, say what you want, guys. But the first part of this movie with the little romance, slow... A bit silly and boring at times, but it was kind of believable. I mean, I wanted to see where that would go. Kind of like I've said that if you took Shaun the Dead apart, removed the zombies, and told the story without the zombies, you'd still have a good movie. I mean, it's like I, what I mean by that is if you took out the whole zombie element of Shaun of the Dead, you'd still have a, a really good, enjoyable movie. This, however, it's not really the same story, but if you took the birds and the environmental messages out of this movie, it could be salvageable. Could be salvageable. 
But yeah, this was a big waste of time. Is it the worst movie I've ever seen of all time? No, not really. And to sort of jump in on what um, Helsing had to say was, I still think things like kick ass here are worse. Because let's face it, in Birdemic, they're not running around shouting in-jokes, memes, and stupid catch bullshit like that. So, that's just my personal taste. But in terms of like, the worst movie of all time, no, I've actually seen worse than this. I mean, to sum it all up, what I'm trying to say is, the first half of this movie... It could be salvageable. And hell, if someone gave me this movie as a whole file, I could edit the fuck out of this and make those first 40 minutes salvageable at best. But as a whole, this movie was really fucking boring. It's just, there's nothing much to be said about it. Bored-demic. There we go. That's that's what we're going to call this, bored-demic. I also get the sense with this movie, they're trying to, like, scare people into, you know, protecting the environment and everything by having, if you don't recycle and if you don't watch carbon emissions, birds will get you! Woo! Oh, please, I can think of a better environmental message. Protect the environment or I'll kill you! Captain Blooder! There's a better environmental message if you ask me. This came in a request from Helsing920, um, link to his channel below, but we come to the end of another reaction and review, ladies and gentlemen. I have been Random, take care, and I'll see you all in the near future. Peace. I want a Happy Meal. Basketball shock and terror. Well, his dribbling is terrible. Did you learn anything from Space Jam? See, white man can't jump. <laughs>